Welcome to the wonderful world of digital badging. Digital badging might be a new experience for you, or you may not even be aware of the importance of digital badges for your students. A badge is not only a visual representation of a skill, it also has built-in information that we call metadata. The metadata contains information like the badge name, the badge description, the badge criteria or what the badge earner had to do to earn the badge, who the badge issuer is, what evidence is used to prove that the badge earner actually earned the badge, and when the badge was issued. As students go through your course and master the course competencies, they are also mastering the competencies needed for digital badges. All of our badges require some form of assessment and may even require mastery of multiple courses. Badges are about mastering skills. For example, say that Billy has just completed CAD 101 and 102, and he mastered all aspects of the courses. So not only does he earn credit for the courses, but he also earns the AutoCAD 2D badge for the specific skills and competencies that he mastered. Another example is Stephanie, who completed her machining courses and took the NIMS Machining Level 1 certification and passed with a 90%. Stephanie is now eligible to receive the Machining Level 1 Mastery Badge. So now that Billy and Stephanie have earned their badges, you're probably wondering what your role is in issuing our badge. First, you will need their non-student email address. Why a non-student email address? Well, once a student has left the college, their email address is usually disabled within six months. So by sending their digital badge to a non-student email address, they will be able to access their badge information long after they leave your institution. Once you have their full name and email address, all you have to do is send the information on to your point person. Then it's up to your point person to issue the badges. One final step to the badging process is to let your students know that 80% of recruiters and employers use LinkedIn to find potential employees. So make sure that they know that once they receive their badge, that it is very important that they add their badge to their LinkedIn profile. Passing along this information will help your students get noticed by those employers and recruiters looking for skilled workers. So now that you know more about the badging process, issuing your first badge should be a piece of cake. 